Hey guys, it's Dana Sacco here with I2I Hyped, your automation and system specialist and virtual assistant business coach. So today we want to know where are our clients, right? This is one of those things everyone's like, yeah, okay, Dana, that's great. You know, but where are these people? I want to ask you a question first and foremost. Where are you? Where are you right now? Are you watching me on Facebook? Are you watching me on LinkedIn? Or where are you? Wherever you are, that's where your people most likely are as well. This could be, this can vary a little bit, and it depends on the type of work that you want to do. What do I mean by that? Do you want to post on social media? Do you want to share your information over there? Do you want to post on LinkedIn? What is your ideal client? If your ideal client isn't on Facebook or Instagram um, or TikTok, I can guarantee you most of my ideal clients are not on TikTok unless they're sitting there and scrolling for like little cat pictures. And I don't know, I get totally sidetracked by watching um, a tortoise walk around and eat. Um, so, you know, that's not where my people are going to be. It doesn't mean I don't post there, but right now it's it's not a priority. I could take it or leave it, right? But if my personality was the type that did the dances and did all of that stuff and did all, I don't even know what everything is over there, you know, the pointing and I don't know. Um, I always feel stupid doing that. So that's not comfortable for me. But if my people respond to that, then that's where I would be. Now, if my people, you, respond to me talking, I'm looking at Facebook and I'm looking at LinkedIn, possibly Instagram. Instagram, I just toss the reels up and a couple posts here and there. And, you know, I don't get as many people from Instagram but they are there, you know, we're the people that we, we've been there. We've been there for like 10 years or whatever. And you sit there and we're just scrolling through the videos. Again, it's the same type of thing. So where are these people? They're in Facebook groups on LinkedIn. The more connections you start having, the more it seems to go out. I am not a LinkedIn expert. A lot of it has to do with consistency on showing up. That, for a lot of people, no matter which platform you go on, can be absolutely exhausting. I know it's exhausting for me, but I'm also going to tell you something. If you are consistent, you will get consistent followers, but at the same time, if you have to take a break, like you stop posting, then just pick it up when you come back, right? There is no reason for you not to. You can also work on scheduling and all of that wonderful stuff. There's a lot of free programs out there. There's a lot of paid programs out there. Um, that's all on you of which one you want to do. So if you want to do the social media aspect of it, perfect. There's just tricks that you need to learn, such as I believe that there's a video somewhere that I've done of how to show up as your profile because we are the biggest stalkers. I don't care who you are, we stalk you, right? We are a stalker. We want to know about the people that are talking. If I like what you're saying, I'm gonna click on your profile. It doesn't, you know, when I'm, I wanna know more about you. I'm like, hey, I love what she said the other day. Let me go and click and let me go see about her. If you have no information about you and your business and your profiles, and this is for any social media aspect, then you just lost me. Why? Because I think you're doing it as a hobby. And so for that, it's not as beneficial, right? So make sure that your personal profile on Facebook says something. If you are in Facebook groups and you are, you know, working with it, whatever, and you are in there and you're talking, you're adding value. And trust me, it's not, you don't have to do it all day long. You can do it for 30 minutes a day. But if you're doing things like that, make sure that you have your information up to date so that people can actually 
learn who you are. It's not a creepy stalkerish thing, but yeah, we're like the nosiest people ever, right? We want to know about you. And that goes into the whole building relationships is key in no matter what platform you're on. It's all about building relationships. It's all about knowing who everyone is and talking to people and them saying, hey, you, and, you know, back and forth. You don't have to be best friends forever, but it, you know, it's great. If you do not want to work on social media at all, or you are like, Dana, I am way too much of an introvert for this. I have no desire to show up. I do not want people on my, you know, I'm keeping my Facebook profile personal. I don't, you know, I'm going to go in there for informational purposes, but I'm not going to go in there trying to find clients. Or if you are, it's not going to be like part of your marketing plan. Then what I suggest doing is actually my favorite one is actually Upwork. And a lot of people have a lot of negative things to say about Upwork. They'll be like, oh, no, it's full of scammers, blah, 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 blah. Just like any other platform out there, Facebook has scammers. I mean, you know, I saw a warning from the IRS the other day that people are telling people and saying to pay your taxes with gift cards. I mean, how many years has that been going on? And how many years has the IRS ever accepted iTunes gift cards, right? But people still fall for this crap. It's the same thing with any type of platform. It's learning how to use it and learning how to optimize it for you and your business, how to show up in the best light. So you've got your Upwork profile. Um, I've actually gotten work through Guru. I didn't even know it still existed, but it is there. So there are other online platforms. One that I did do a lot of work on actually was um, people per hour. And you just have to do conversions because if you, well, unless you're not in the United States, but they, they are more, um, I believe that they're based in Europe. So it's kind of like a mini Upwork. They're not there yet. They're not at the caliber that Upwork is in my personal opinion. And a lot of people really didn't understand it completely that were trying to hire me but i did a lot of proofreading work through there and it was a lot of fun um some of my international clients they were they just totally rocked it from over there um so that was that's another place that's people per hour and um upwork is the other one you know if you know me if you don't know me i do teach i do have a master class about upwork let me know if you need the link and say I need help with Upwork um, because I do know that that masterclass live is coming up in the next couple of weeks. Then another way to do it, and this is something I have not done, okay? But it doesn't mean it's not possible. I do not join like BNIs or anything like that. I haven't gotten there yet. Um, my life's just, it doesn't, didn't allow for it, hasn't allowed for it. Is it a possibility in the future? Absolutely. Um, small business networking groups are absolutely great. And a lot of the nice things is, is that they're only going to allow one person in there, right? So I think a lot of them, it's like if you're a bookkeeper, you are the only bookkeeper in that group. Perfect. So if you are a virtual assistant, if you are an admin assistant, you are the only admin assistant in that group. So if people are asking and, you know, networking is networking. It is you talk to one person who talks to another who talks to another. The biggest things that I'm going to tell you, these clients are everywhere. And one of the things that I teach in with coaching is where you personally fit. What does that mean? What will work for you based on, first of all, you need to know what you're offering. Then based on your offer and your own personality, where are you going to work? Where's the best place for you to find clients that's not going to wear you out? And I can tell you right now, no matter which program you decide, you know, platform you decide to use, none of them should wear you out. Spending an hour and a half a day tops, absolute tops, unless you're like me who sits here and scrolls like forever and sits there and posts and helps, does all this wonderful stuff 
if you end up doing that, that's you, but just make sure that you're getting the work done as well. But a lot of it's just showing up. Yeah, Stephanie saying that it's so important in those networking groups, particularly the online ones, be exclusive. Make sure that they only allow one person, one member per expertise, one accountant, one VA, one life coach. Yeah, that's, um, I've never done that because that like requires me to go out. Um, and going out, of course, over the last few years did not work. <laughs> And I know that it's like a big thing now. And there's another one um, locally, and I don't know if it's nationwide or not. I do know like, well, locally to Myrtle Beach, they had like at least three chapters. And so there's different things that you can, I mean, do the research on them. I do not join, um, someone asked me if I joined Chamber of Commerce, and I did not. Um, Myrtle Beach is a very, I, I will tangent a little bit off on this one of why I did not, it's a good old boys club. Um, I think that in all of the pictures for the chamber, there was like one woman in each picture. And someone said, Dana, you should just step in there and do whatever. But I honestly thought for my energy at the time, and probably right now also, I probably might tell too many people off. So it's probably not the best place to go show my business expertise. Um, I also work, I do not work locally. It's not my idea because of, and this can affect you a lot. If the minimum wage in your state is a certain amount, a lot of times business owners will not understand what a contractor is. For example, in South Carolina, it's $7.25 an hour is the minimum wage. They think that if they're giving you $10 an hour, it's like huge. They think that they're giving you a wonderful deal, but they don't understand what it is. So for me, locally, it does not make any sense. I will be doing more research down here um, right now. I'm in Florida. So I might do some more research of how that would work locally because I believe down here the minimum wage right now is $15 an hour. And I mean, I've seen like Arby's is like hiring at 17 to 20. So, you know, and that's fast food. So a skilled person might actually have a little bit different of a viewpoint down here. Um, so take a look and be responsive to your area. Like I was working with one person and, you know, $75 an hour was not, was not a big deal. It didn't make anyone blink. Um, whereas if I said $75 an hour in the local Myrtle Beach area, I think people would fall over and have a heart attack. Um, because that's not even my rate. Um, mine's at 125 to 195 an hour for what I do. And um, yeah, that, that's just not going to go over well with people. They think that that's like a weekly paycheck for a full timer. So, you know, those type of things you really have to pay attention to. And it's why that I work mostly online and doing the whole Facebook group things and doing um, finding those things. But totally tangent. I told you I went off on a tangent on that one. Um, but finding what fits your personality, it doesn't mean you can't grow. And it doesn't mean you can't change because this is your business, right? So I do, you know, I started out on Upwork. I didn't want to talk to people. And I wanted to work when I wanted to work. And I wanted to pick up extra money when I wanted to pick up extra money. And that's what I was doing. Done. Boom. Perfect, right? From there, I grew. From there I grew and decided to start on social media. And at first I just went into little groups and I was talking in little groups and I would just add and next thing I know I had like three other clients. So it's not, if you go in there and just start chatting, all of a sudden you'll start being known. But again, we're nosy, so please make sure that your profile fits. Um, I think I checked one the other day and I will explain why 
I may explain why the profile is so important. I clicked one the other day. I really liked her. I really liked what she had to say. Her Facebook profile actually said F off. Like that was her big thing. So here was a person who was trying to drive, get business through social media, sharing actually pretty decent value. And I went and clicked on her name because I was like, hey, let me go and see where else I can follow her. If she has a group or something like that, I'd like to read more of her stuff, right? And her big cover thing was F off. And I was like, dude, what? So guess what? I don't know who she is anymore. And I don't care. Why? Because she told me to F off right there on her cover. So that shows you, you know, we're going to be nosy. We want to know if you have a group. We want to know if you have a page. We want to know if you have a website. We want to know if you have an Instagram. Wherever we're going to follow you, we want to go and click buttons. So if you make sure that you have your stuff up to date, that's why we love if you follow some of the same people that I do. I swear that we change our cover pictures like at least once a month, if not twice. Why? Because whenever we change it, it like shouts it out to everyone that we know. And so it's one of those weird little things. So your clients are going to be a little bit of everywhere, but there is no place that your clients aren't. So it's finding what works for you, what works for your personality, and works for your business. All right. I hope that this helped you all out. And thank you guys so much for joining me. This has been a lot of fun, and I will talk to you all soon.